These singers use their music as Satanism campaign. Avoid listening to these songs if you wish to steer clear of satanic influences. Watch out, there's a demon in these music videos. In life, we hide the parts of ourselves we don't want the world to see. We lock them away. We tell them no. We banish them. But here, we don't. Do you believe in Satanism? What if they exist in your favorite music? Greetings, and welcome back to our YouTube account. Many of you like it when we share and talk about conspiracy theories. Anyway, I'd like to talk about a well-known conspiracy theory in this film. Yes, it is Satanism. For many people, music is a fun thing to do. This world is full of people who listen to music. We all enjoy music differently, but we still like to listen to it. A lot of artists, though, make songs for more than just fun or money. Some of them use music to spread messages about their views or even their connections with the devil or demons. Then tell me what they do and how they do it. What is Satanism? To begin, Satanism refers to people or groups that work with spirits or devils. So, these religions or beliefs teach things that are different from Abrahamic religions. These are Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Individuals holding this view don't believe in God. They see themselves as God and believe that everything they do is right. Also, they often have a sign that represents what they do. Yeah, I think you know about these signs Baphomet, Penta Alpha, the Upside Down Cross, 666, the Horned Hand and many more. Anyway, these images were often used as part of a campaign in movies, music, or even Satanist events. Do you know of any songs or films that are about Satanism? Or are you a fan? A lot of people say they are curious about when a singer or artist makes their music. Because Satanism has a lot of images and things that are linked to it. Some people think that these artists use their music to show or tell their fans about Satanism. To be more specific, they use it as a Satanism campaign. Nevertheless, what are they? Also, how do they use their own song to talk about Satanism? There are some artists whose music has images or ideas about Satan in them. And here is what they think about them. Doja Cat. This photo of Doja Cat was definitely taken at Paris Fashion Week. In addition to her red dress, she painted her whole body red. In addition, she covered herself in beads. We're gonna crystal me from my busted up. I don't, I have no idea what the process is, but you know, we're gonna put this condom on my head and you know, protection is important. Safety first. Okay, so stop talking. If you're not ready for kids. People on the internet have a lot to say about it. They said Doja Cat used it because she is a Satanist. Actually, she's using this event to promote her newest record, Scarlet. Many of her friends, though, said that her new look made her look less like herself. Many Doja Cat fans believe that the present cat worshipped the devil and was a Satanist. You'll understand why this view is valid if you watch and listen to her single from this album. There is a discussion about the Paint the Town Red and Devil singles because of the ideas and meanings in the songs. You will feel like you are in a scary movie when you watch the Paint the Town Red music video for the first time. In that place, Doja Cat even changed how she looked to look like the devil. A scene shows Doja standing next to a grim reaper wearing a black hood and a staff. Seriously, that's really creepy. Doja Cat is also said to have been reborn in this music video with a body covered in blood, full of blood. Plus, she wore accessories with the pentagram and satanic sign. People often connect this five-pointed star shape with Satanism because satanic practitioners use it in their rituals. Though if you think you've only seen it in music videos, incorrect. Satanism is talked about a lot in this song. Some words in this song do not make sense. She is the devil, I said. I'm doing things they haven't seen before. Extremists are stupid, not fans. I'm a demon lord. Doja Cat also has a song on this record called, Devil, and, that is about Satanism. Simply reading the title will let you know what this song is about. There is a scene in the music video where Doja Cat turns into the devil. In this music video, Doja also used another satanic sign. Yes, one eye drawn behind her head, shows the Illuminati. Wow, this song is really easy for me to listen to. Also, I dare you. I didn't think it would have anything to do with Satanism. Hey, how about you? Do you know that? 
Lil Nas X. I caught it bad just today. You hear me with a call to your place. Today we have something that people all over the world are talking a lot about. Yep, you guessed it. We're talking about Lil Nas X's controversial music video for Montero, Call Me By Your Name, and all the controversy that's followed it. So, let's jump right in. First off, this video has caught everyone's attention for its shocking image, featuring scenes that some say are packed with Satan and even devils. It's made a lot of talk, especially when it comes to how it plays with themes of religion and mythology. If you watch the music video, you know the part where Lil Nas X slides down to hell on a pole and then shows dances to the devil. Yeah, that's got people talking. But there's more than just the video itself. This new Call Me By Your Name song by Lil Nas X is unacceptable. As a mother, I need to speak out against this because children are impressionable. Lil Nas X caught wearing a shirt written with Lil Nas in a font that, if you look closely, seems very similar to those used by the Illuminati. This choice has made even more speculation and thought about the video's deeper meanings and connections to Satanism. And, don't forget about the shoes either. Lil Nas X released a line of shoes at the same time as this song and video. All 666 pairs sold out very quickly. And it was said that they were made in partnership with Nike and looked like the Air Max 97. Lil Nas X's team made it clear that they weren't an official Nike release. 666 shoes were sold. Let's talk about this number, 666, or what's called the number of the beast, according to the book of Revelation. Let anyone with understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a person. Its number is 666. Revelation chapter 13 verses 16 to 18, New Revised Standard Version. And, related to the number 2, many people correlated beast with Satan or the devil. So, was Lil Nas X selling 666 shoes without any purpose? These shoes had a little extra something. A drop of human blood in each pair, a gold pentagram, and an upside-down cross. Yes, you are not mishearing, it's a drop of human blood. Talk about human blood. If you are a fan of sneakers, you might know that the Nike Air Max 97 contains holy water in its soul. They even wrote above the soul, Luke chapter 10 verse 18, which refers to a Bible verse. Luke chapter 10 verse 18, saying, from heaven, I saw Satan fall like lightning. Or maybe Lil Nas's shoes, inspired by Nike, also contain the soul. Who knows? So, what do you think about all this? Was Lil Nas X just using these symbols as art and expression? Or was he really into it? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If they talk about Satanism in a music video, do you think they're actually asking us to follow them? Or do they just want to do it for fun? Comment here. So, those are some celebrities who incorporate demonic elements in their works. But not only that, we still have some celebrities that we will discuss in the next video. So, stay tuned.